And I took out a sexual enhancement device. And is this the device? Yeah, that's it. Then what did you do? I'll show you. I don't know how we've made it 12 volumes of Monster Mash mini reviews without me reviewing a B-movie classic starring two of the best scream queens of all time, Linnea Quigley and Michelle Bauer. But let's rectify that. Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers is a 1988 comedy horror flick that features noir and slasher elements. It's a low-budget sexploitation flick that features corny comedy, cheesy effects, and a whole lot of boobies. You don't want to believe all those things you read in those dime novels, do you? Some of us are honest. That's what this town's been needing for a long time. An honest dick. Well, I'll tell you, I'm about as honest as any man on the force. Then you should be locked up. A cult of chainsaw-worshipping hookers are murdering men in Los Angeles. A private investigator is hired to track down a runaway teen, played by Scream Queen Linnea Quigley. The P.I. soon crosses paths with the chainsaw hookers and their creepy cult leader, played by Leatherface actor Gunnar Hansen. The P.I. and the runaway teen team up to take down the cult and stop the hookers who charge an arm and a leg. I decided to flash the missing girl's picture around while I waited. First I showed him Samantha Kelso's photo. Then I showed him a picture of a chainsaw I'd torn out of a magazine at Sally's place. Still nothing. Then I showed him how to make a shadow bunny on the wall. Nothing phased this guy. If the film's title wasn't a dead giveaway, this is a silly and cheesy B-movie. This is a sexploitation flick that was made with tongue planted firmly in cheek. Right off the bat, we get a ridiculous and comical warning card about chainsaws, letting you know of the absurdity and goofiness that awaits. Director Fred Olin Ray was more focused on the comedy and sleaze aspects of this film, so Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers never comes off as a horror film. The horror is an afterthought and played for laughs. The gore is cheap and cheesy and the deaths are one note, but what the movie lacks in scares, it makes up for with lots of topless hookers killing Johns. Scream Queen Michelle Bauer plays Mercedes and turns in a fun and charismatic performance. My, how you deceived us. You killed a good friend of mine, Jenny Lynn, remember? Jenny Lynn? Jenny, Jenny Lynn! Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! She was a snooty little bitch just like you. And we had fun with her. <laughs> The comedy is decent, some jokes fall flat, but there are some clever lines of dialogue and a few witty moments. To help create that noir atmosphere, the film was narrated by the private investigator, played by Jay Richardson. Richardson turns in the best performance, and is a very likable and amusing lead. Gunnar Hansen turns in a rather wooden and forgettable performance as the king of the cult. I do like the bit of stunt casting, though, getting the original Leatherface to be the chainsaw cult leader. Bo. Bo Hansen. <laughs> Bo. Bo Hansen? <laughs> what are you? A circus clown? <laughs> Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers is shot and lit effectively, and the movie runs a swift 75 minutes. The film's finale features Linnea Quigley performing the virgin dance of the double chainsaws, as well as a cool chainsaw battle with her and Michelle Bauer. The acting is all over the place, but Richardson and Bauer both give solid performances. Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers is a silly, light-hearted horror comedy that has a fun noir vibe and some nice sleaze. It's a fun movie if you go in expecting a cheesy Z-grade flick. Director Fred Olin Ray has done some more serious horror outings, with scalps being one of my favorites, but there's a reason why the dude is synonymous with sleaze and TNA. Oh, oh, come on! I'm sure you've been stuck by worse than that tonight. And I hope you enjoyed your little piece because it will be your last. And now it's your turn to be a piece. Or should I say, pieces. <laughs> What you need is some TFC to calm you down. TFC? Mm -hmm. What the hell is TFC? It's tender fucking care, you big stiff. What else? 